We started off by getting our individual processes, such as what is the robot that we're making, uh, what's the process of making it, who are we, and then we haven't really decided on the last one, but we're probably going to decide soon. Yeah. Uh, currently, we have made a couple of pages like this one. So we have a uh, main skeleton frame, we're going to insert more pieces of text in here to refine it later in the process. We're not making a very detailed thing right now. My name is Jason and this is what I built. Um, this back part was meant to be a leg for, for our build, which, which um, I, I was inspired by the EV3 set from the elephant. So I transferred it to Spike and made my own, and this is what it turned out. Uh, hi, um, I'm Eric and my main job for the robot is to build the mechanisms and um, build the base of the robot. Uh, the mechanisms include like, the claw, like the gears as well as like the movement of the claw. Uh, so uh, we built it through like a process of, so we first started with the base and then we kind of went on from that uh, before we had like kind of like um, a single like a uh, school beam arm type beam. Uh, but then we made it so it could move like that, as well as attaching a claw to it. My name is Eric. My role in the group is to, uh, to make the uh, presentation and cheer up the group every now and then. I think the hardest part of the project is to think of a design for the robot, as everyone had a design in their minds. We, we were not sure what to put together and what to like keep separate and what to add on to the robot. But in the end, we managed to like to make this. We also had to like take apart the, the robot several times to, like to attach this tail or just like remake the entire thing so it, it looks different and it was kind of difficult for us as we were running out of time. However, this is our end project and project and uh, this is what we're happy with. Thank you for uh, listening to the Space Peaches Robocop Spike Project.